Hi Libra, this is your June mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already in a relationship or marriage. And at the end we'll see uh, if there is an ex coming back wanting to get back together with you. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love. Um, in the second half of June. We have the Emperor, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have uh, the Knight of Cups. Then we have Justice, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Two of Cups, or the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. And we also have the Three of uh, Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, or a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio, or Pisces, or pretty much any Zodiac Sign. This is a general reading. You know, before I forget, Libra, what I noticed uh, throughout this reading, it's like a common theme. There's a lot of balance here, a lot of balance, all right? Justice kind of in the middle right there, that is your major arcana card. And it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. The person who is coming towards you is the Emperor. The first card I came out, which is clarified by the Ace of Swords. Whatever their zodiac sign is, and we'll get to it in just a second, they're also represented here by a major arcana card. So you guys are vibing on the as high of our vibrational level as possible. So you're on the same page, you're on the same vibrational level. Balance. <laughs> All right. Then um, we have uh, the Six of Pentacles, clarifying justice, right? The Six of Pentacles is a card of balance. It's a card of equal give and take. The Six of Pentacles always reminds me of you, Libra, right? Because you see how the person standing up, standing in the middle, is holding up scales. Scales is a Libra indicator. If you take a closer look at the Justice card, I don't know if you can see it or not, but in one of the hands, uh, oh, the person in the Justice card is also holding up scales, all right? Um, we also have the Two of Cups, the first card in the potential outcome. There's two people in the Two of Cups, right? And the Two of Cups is when two people, both people, feel the same way. Both people are on the same page. All right, so it is, in a way, balance, okay? Then we have two aces on the table, right? One for them, one for you, I guess. And uh, the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of collaboration. And the thing about the Three of Pentacles, this is when both people uh, collaborate. Both people put time, effort, whatever is necessary into it because both people wanted to work out, both people wanted to succeed, wanted to succeed, and therefore both of them are putting equal amounts of uh, time, energy, and effort, and what have you. So we have balance throughout this reading, okay? Um, that's what I really like about it. But yeah, let's go back to the beginning. The Emperor coming into your life, right? It could be an Aries. The Emperor is an Aries major arcana card. But at the same time, the Emperor is um, somebody who is ready for a commitment. You know, the Emperor is large and in charge. It could be um, your boss from work, by the way, right? The Emperor could be a boss figure or they could be running their own company or they could be a boss at uh, their workplace. But, you know, the Emperor knows what's up. <laughs> The Emperor is above all kings, all right? And uh, the Emperor often comes to as a husband or a significant other figure, all right? And they're clarified by the Ace of Swords, you know? They're clarified by the Ace of Swords, which is the uh, Ace of Clarity, okay? Um, the Emperor is crystal clear on what they want, and they're going to tell you. They want you, they want to be together with you, they are in, falling in love with you, they want to marry you, and things like that. Right? With the Ace of Swords, nobody is fooling or playing around. They'll just tell you straight up. They'll be very upfront, very uh, straight, straight to the point when it comes to expressing their feelings and what they want. And um, even though the Ace of Swords is a bit of a, like a harsh energy, but um, we also have the Knight of Cups right next to the Emperor. Right? And the Knight of Cups is a very soft energy. It's the most romantic, the most loving knight out of all three knights. The Knight of Cups is often referred to as the knight uh, in the shining armor, Prince Charming. So um, do expect lots of love from them. Perhaps they will um, have like a lot of uh, loving gestures lined up, prepared for you. All right, then they're going to express it, they're going to show it in, in a variety of ways. All right, and again, we have Justice, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, that's you. And uh, yeah, again, the Six of Pentacles is a card of an equal give and take, right? It's a card of balance. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Again, the Two of Cups is when two people feel the same way towards one another. It's a card of a soulmate connection. Then we have the Ace of Cups, right? 
Um, and uh, with the Ace of Cups, love will continue, right? It's very loving, lovey-dovey in the beginning with the Knight of Cups. And it will continue to be this way with the Ace of Cups because it's in the potential outcome. And uh, right next to the Ace of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is a card of a rock-solid commitment or marriage. This is the type of uh, commitment you know, or marriage you would expect from the Emperor. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's a card of when people buy real estate together, they grow all together and all that good stuff. So yeah, this looks, you know, it's, it's like very smooth. Uh, that's, I think, the best way I can interpret this. Very smooth. Everybody understands what's going on. Everybody is on the same page and it's an equal give and take and all that good stuff. All right? It's just smooth. <laughs> okay? Really happy for you, Libra. Congratulations. Libra, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this better is for you. Um, we have uh, the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Devil. We have the Tower. We have the Eight of Swords, uh, clarified by the Nine of Wands. And we have uh, Temperance on the bottom of the deck. Here's the deal, Libra. I'm just going to say it like it is. I never sugarcoat my readings. Either one of you or both of you have uh, some kind of an addiction. If, that's, if this resonates, this story is for you. And I believe this is the final warning from the universe. You need to start taking care of it, ASAP, as soon as possible. Okay? To avoid some kind of a disaster. All right? So, yeah, uh, the Seven of Cups, the first card I came out is qualified by the devil. The Seven of Cups often comes through as a card of um, intoxication. And um, not just intoxication from an alcohol beverage, it could be from something else. Or it could be gambling. It could be some, some uh, other type of an addiction. The devil clarifying it, yep, together with the Seven of Cups, definitely that. Somebody who is unable to resist whatever that addiction is. Okay, temperance on the bottom of the deck is a card of healing. All right, so it's time to, um, you know, check it or check in and start taking care of it. Uh, address it, all right, because otherwise the tower is coming. The tower is very close, all right? This is your final warning. The tower is when things go haywire. The tower is when uh, accidents happen, okay? And uh, as a result of that, there's going to be an Eight of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Wands. The Eight of Swords could be imprisonment, in, imprisonment if, if I can pronounce it, right? Or somebody who is really stuck and trapped in some other predicament. The Nine of Wands, clarifying it, is a card of a wounded warrior. Okay, so yeah, if it's your story, then uh, it's time to address this. I hope that makes sense. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, in the second half of June. Uh, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Swords. We have the Lovers. Then we have uh, the Two of Swords, clarified by the King of Cups. And we also have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Gemini on the table. I don't think I've ever seen a spread like this, Libra. I, I don't think I've ever seen cards come out like this before. <laughs> Here's the deal. The first three cards that came out, before I started clarifying, before I flipped the deck over, the Two of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Two of Swords, they are all talking about the same thing. A choice. Okay? And it's like the final choice. All right. Uh, perhaps this King of Cups is—it's not the first time they're coming back. So it's either you guys make it or break it. Make up your mind, guys. I know it's not a, perhaps not up to you, Libra, but that's what's about to happen. You know, three choice cards. <laughs> the Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Swords. That's you, and uh, the King of Cups right next to the deck clarifying the Two of Swords. That's them. All right, so the King of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. All right. And uh, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a soulmate connection. At, this, at the same time, it's a card of uh, somebody coming back from the past. So the connection between the two of you is, so, is very strong. That is definitely undeniable. The Lovers in the middle, it is a card of a choice as well. But uh, it's also a card of a soulmate connection, just like the Six of Cups. And it's a card of a twin flame, twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. It could be a twin flame. There's something called Runner Chaser. In the, in the twin flame. So perhaps you just been, you've been playing cat and mouse for God knows how long. But I, hopefully um, you guys can finally, uh, <laughs> I don't know, agree on something. All right? And either make it or break it. That's how it feels, Libra. All right? But um, yeah, the connection is, is very strong and it's undeniable between the two of you. All right? So yeah, 
um, have a conversation, talk about this, all right, and figure it out. So that's what I have for you, Libra, for this reading, for this um, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing the rest of the month.